the next few years, few years, two or three years, are going to pass like that. And what we do together, what you do, I do, we do, over the next few years, is setting up whatever time we have left. Whether that's another 40 years, 10 years, 20 years, whatever it is, it, we're setting ourselves up, yes, for success, but I mean where we're living life deep, aligned to what's in our values. I wanted to transition into the meaning-driven world so I could make money in a meaningful way, which means the way that I make money is by adding value to other people's lives. Yeah. So I get rewarded monetarily, energetically, emotionally, and spiritually. Another way of decoding, if you like, or using different words to explain that we're here to be of service is we're here to love, to learn, to give, and to grow. That's our purpose. And how we fill that in with all of our wonderful colors and experiences and whatever else, that's an individual experience. But think about it. What's life without love? Nothing. What's life without learning? Nothing. What's life without giving if it's just about us? Nothing. So what happens is that when you're making a decision like you already have to be in this room, you didn't make your decision to be in this room through your head or through your ego. You made it through your soul. What's in our heads has been put there by somebody else. What's in our souls, our hearts, has been put there by us. If your desire wasn't stirring, you wouldn't be in this room. Your ego says, but you don't know me. I don't know about the capacity thing. Well, I just know from life that whatever's in our soul and our heart is our universal truth. And along with that comes the capability, the skills, the strength, the just the plain old ability to make it happen. But what keeps people separated from that, if they choose to be separated from that, is the way that they think. That's why saying yes, you know, what I just said to Andrea just a moment ago, you just said yes to her, because up until now she's been unbalanced, correct me if I'm on track. It's been all about others, the, the, the kids, three of them, so. Yeah, other the three the three kids and other aspects of whatever she was responsible for to the detriment of her. She's here because she's reclaiming that balance. By reclaiming that balance, she gets to grow into herself and her own esteem and her own love for self. And now the irony is, this is the irony. On that journey, there'll be more of her to give without any more suffering. There'll be more of her to give to her children because of the fact that she's saying yes to her.